Hey guys, Fuzz Foreign here, and welcome to another episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. In this episode, we're not even playing as SpongeBob right now. We're freaking playing as Patrick. Hi. <laughs> that was perfect timing. I'm um, using the Freezy Fruit to actually. Whoa, we, it just freezes everything? And we got another sock, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Now I'm gonna see if there's anything else down here for the eight seconds that I'm. Nah, screw it, there's nothing else, I'm pretty sure. Now, um, no one told me in the comments because as of recording this, this is the day episode three is actually going up. I know how to get up to, uh, that other sock now. I, uh, when I was coming back here, I, uh, I found out, like, oh, hey, by the way, Patrick can, uh, pick these up. Oh, we go. Um, a cannon's back. Um, I figured out how to get up there, so that's good. That's great. Um, oh, you, no. No! I died! That was, I died, Patrick. That's what just happened. I, first death of the series. That, that's so cool. I'm really bad as Patrick, I guess. Or maybe I'm just rusty because it's super early in the morning. Because I have to go to a three-hour lecture in, I don't know, like two hours. So I'm like, well, I gotta record. I don't know about you guys, but like I have the strongest urges to record. Oh, it, it, no matter what, it's SpongeBob's underwear. <laughs> and boom! Yeah, Patrick's stomach is so strong, it can freaking destroy a cannon. Actually, a uh, fellow YouTuber and friend, Derek Donahue, commented on uh, episode 2 of this series and was like, seeing SpongeBob destroy uh, that cannon with the net is probably the most impressive thing I've seen. And I'm like, I actually agree with that 100%. Because, like, in video games, they sometimes set this precedent, like, oh, this is just how the game works. And, like, I play so many video games that I just kind of accepted that and didn't even find it weird. But now that I actually think about it, it actually is really weird that a net, this flimsy thing, like, this piece of, like, tiki wood can destroy robots and a cannon. Excuse me. And... Patrick is wearing Spongebob's underwear. I also thought I'd like to point that out as well, as if it wasn't obvious earlier when he commented on that himself. Oh my gosh. And yep, we're gonna go get this sock really quick. That's why it looks like we're backtracking. It's like, excuse me, we've been here before, because we're just grabbing it, because this is 100%. I wonder if I can pick up that tiki and throw it at the other one. Oh yeah. That's cool. We're actually really close to getting a golden spatula for Mr. Krabs. We're really close to 3,000. All right, so this is how you get up there. You have to turn the camera around and you're like, oh, hey, can I make it from there? Kind of obvious. I just wasn't really thinking, I guess. And then we gotta jump from these without dying this time, Patrick. Oh, it just hurt me. Cool, <laughs> awesome. So we got a sock, and that's all that matters, and let's grab these shiny objects really quick. Because I need them to get uh, spatulas from Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a... Uh, my foot was just tickled because um, my guinea pig is out playing around, and he just came up to my foot and licked it, and I was like, Duh! It tickled a lot. Alright, we did it. You know what, I probably could have just went into that box, and that would have been a lot faster. But you know what? There wouldn't be any adventure in that. Now we're continuing onward. We're almost to exactly where we used to be after grabbing those two socks there. Actually, how many socks are left in this area now? Oh, we got half of them. Alright. And then we'll just pop through this then. Because we've already done that multiple times. I really, I know I said it before, but I gotta say, whoever's jamming out on this instrument in the background music, I wanna, like, meet them, because it just sounds like they're having fun. Because I can just, like, imagine them, like, all next to each other, like, smiling and stuff. Alright, yeah, let's pick this up. It's teaching me the tutorial. Boom! I love that, like, da-da! Sound effect clip. 
forgot you can also pick up tiki's. Well, it's a little bit too late for that now. <laughs> I was, uh, this is a bus stop. You may switch between playing SpongeBob or Patrick at these. All right. Hello. What's up? Who are you? No? Just no one? You're just like a random guy with a mustache. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I find him so funny. It's just ah uh, oh, sh shoot. <laughs> it's just this guy. Oh, I can't pick up the sign. I can try though. I didn't even know I could try. Oh my, Patrick, do you? I I don't even know my own strength. Come on, there we go. Okay, but surprisingly he can't hit it there. There we go. Boom! Before it wilted. What's up? This is special Patrick Teeter Totter that only Patrick can use. Hey, Patrick, pick up a fruit. All right. Seems like that makes enough sense to me. Is there anything else I'm missing before I go? Nope. I feel like I'm doing fine. Woo! Checkpoint. Hey, jellyfish. Oh yeah, these are uh, thunder tiki's. If you. It's kind of like uh, in Crash Bandicoot, the uh, red nitro boxes, and apparently a lot stronger, too. I did not think it would hit me that far. Good God. I'm picking. Oh. Okay, I thought I didn't activate this one. I thought this guy was a bad guy for a second, but apparently not. Alright, let's go on. Yeah, oh. Can I actually pick up the Tartar? Oh my god, okay. I cannot. I could try hey, though. You barnacle head. Watch where you're going. What is talking to me? Oh my rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? Is that a regular thing? Very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday. And now my neck hurts. I don't know Keep what position that was. Minion, what do you think? Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the <laughs> robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Wow. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design a knockoff wallet. Oh, thank you. I, some of these jokes seem a little bit too real to me. I, like, I'm sorry, but they do. I'm thinking this takes you back. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that takes you back. Yep, I, I know. Don't don't worry, game. I know the tutorial. Some of it is just kind of self-explanatory. Hey, is that a sock in there? A sock that I see? Could it be? No, it's just a glowing thing. It was a bit. It was almost rimy. What? It's pretty dark in here. I'm not gonna lie. Jeez. These freaking rocks. Probably can't even pick them up. Because they'd hurt me. Do do. Do 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 do. Is that a sock over there? No. Is there even a freezy fruit to help me get there? Oh god, I, I have to keep. Oh, what have I done? Oh my god, I'm so bad. I don't even know why right now. I blame it on it being early. Now before I go on. Is there anything in here that I could possibly... Just some thunder tiki's that I could probably explode with this. Why not? I have to get to 3,000. Boom! Terrific. And what happens if I get for you? Nothing. All right, cool. Just some, uh, just some shiny objects. Can I uh, lock on? Oh, there we go. And it misses. No, it's fine. It's fine. No, I don't even want that thunder tiki. He'll tell his friends. He'll tell his friends the tale of Patrick Star. Freaking. All right, all right. Let's go away, spikes. 
Jeez Louise. What's this way? Please don't tell me I have to carry this through here. Like, throw it from one to one. Let me see first. There's a checkpoint, so at least get that. Before I do anything stupid. I think it's just to destroy that. And I want to watch the pattern of these this time before I do anything dumb. Nope, still did something stupid. <laughs> Those spikes are hard to avoid, I'm telling you. Son of a gun. Jeez. Look, just all of them at once at all times. That's not fair at all. I really actually do not even like that spike trap mechanic at all. Okay, I did it. Congratulations, me. I was really hoping that would still activate it anyways, to be honest with you. That's why I didn't really aim specifically for the Thunder Tiki, but I guess not. Super mu- Oh, come on. Like, it's like so- I don't even know, whatever. Alright, was I not fat enough already? Wait, does that mean that I could- I don't need Spongebob as a bubble bowl thing for the- Patrick can also jump on throw fruit to get higher. That's a weird way of getting high, but alright, Patrick. Whatever whatever makes you happy. Let's get this over here. Even It's so hard to see right now. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if there weren't these uh, throw fruits here, I would honestly have no idea where I am. Oh, just uh, got it further away now. It's really... Excuse me. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, do I have to? Oh, okay. I have an idea. Boom. There we go. On top of the other. That's cool. Throw that there. And then throw that on top of that. Boom. I didn't even know there was a ledge there. Here we go. Oh, he doesn't use his tongue or anything. He just kind of bowls down. Lame. See, I wonder if there's a sock in here, but it's so ridiculously hard to see anything in here. I was just like, oh, whatever. There's just why are there just little kids here? Oh god, I just checked the time. I have to, I have to end this episode here. All right, next time on. Oh, next time on Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom, I am going to continue through here and get that golden spatula up there. See you guys then.